things you should never lend, even to your friends or family. We all know that one must never borrow another person's comb or toothbrush. However, there are many other personal belongings that we occasionally share with others but really shouldn't. Here's a list of objects that mustn't have more than one owner. Moreover, we'll tell you how to keep them clean and in great condition. 8. Lip gloss and lipstick. Your friend has left her makeup set at home. Surely it's okay to lend her your lipstick. Actually, you shouldn't do that. Diseases such as herpes can easily be transmitted through sharing lipstick or lip gloss. Even if the affected person doesn't have an obvious rash, the virus can still be present in the mouth's mucous membrane and saliva. At the moment, there is no 100% effective cure for herpes. If the virus has manifested itself, stop using the contaminated lipstick. After the rash goes away, it's better to buy a new makeup set to prevent the disease from making a comeback. To avoid the accumulation of dirt and bacteria, use a clean tissue to remove the lipstick's top layer periodically. 7. Headphones Each person has a unique bacterial floral balance in his or her earwax. Whenever we decide to share earphones with a friend, we risk disrupting this balance. This, in turn, may provoke an ear infection. You can remove earwax from the surface of earphones by using a stick or a swab dipped in hydrogen peroxide. Avoid applying too much liquid so as not to damage the speakers. The pads can be disinfected by placing them in an alcohol solution. In case of frequent use, be sure to clean the earphones at least once a week. 6. Hair Clips and Curlers Most people know that lending your comb to another person is a bad idea. Well, the same applies to all hair accessories that come into contact with the scalp. Fungi and lice are easily spread by means of borrowed headbands, combs, scrunchies, or curlers. Soft scrunchies should be washed every few weeks, depending on the frequency of use. Curlers and metal hair clips can be rinsed with soapy water. Be sure to wipe them dry afterwards. 5. Deodorants Even with deodorants that have antibacterial properties, the surfaces that come into contact with the skin may contain bacteria. After all, it's the bacteria that cause the smell of sweat, which we are trying to neutralize. It's best to use deodorant right after you've taken a shower, while your skin is still clean. To refresh your armpits during the day, wipe them with a moist tissue first. 4. Towels A towel's main function is to absorb the maximum amount of liquid from the surface of your body. That is why, even when you're perfectly healthy, increased humidity inside the bathroom gradually turns your towel's damp fabric into a perfect breeding ground for mold, bacteria, and fungi. Hygiene experts advise changing the towels every three to four days. It's best to dry your towels out on the balcony or in a damp, free place as opposed to leaving them in the bathroom. Be sure to dry your towels after each use and don't forget to iron them after washing. 3. Manicure and Cosmetic Accessories Your tweezers, nail clippers, epilators, razors, and other accessories should only be used by you no one else. When in frequent use, these items are likely to have invisible microscopic droplets of blood on their surfaces. Don't share them with anyone if you want to avoid getting herpes and fungal infections. Following each use, wipe the accessories surfaces with alcohol. 2. Skin Care Accessories Facial cleansing brushes, massage rollers, and special sponges seem easy enough to clean. However, over time, their bristles and bumps accumulate small bits of skin that contain bacteria. 
This can cause acne and flaky facial skin. Don't forget to wash the accessories with soapy water after each use. It is also advisable to change them every two to three months. One, indoor shoes. When welcoming guests, it's only natural to offer them slippers. But you'd better buy a special pair or two for use on such occasions only. When you're wearing shoes, your feet inevitably begin to sweat, creating the perfect breeding conditions for fungus. Try to avoid the unhygienic habit of putting slippers on wet feet to prevent the appearance of fungus and bacteria. Even if we're talking about your favorite pair, don't wear them for too long. It's best to change your slippers every six months. Remember to wash your indoor shoes occasionally, if the material permits. Alternatively, treat the inside of the slippers with disinfectants, such as vinegar. Do you know other helpful life hacks? Then share them in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button below the video and click subscribe to join us on the Bright Side of Life.